Hello. Yeah, uh, who's speaking, please? Uh, good evening. I'm calling from Canadian High Commission, New Delhi. I couldn't uh, see your voice. Uh, I'm please. calling from the. Can you hear me? Yes, yes, ma'am. Uh, is this a good time to talk? Can I talk to you? Yes, ma'am. Sure. Uh, have you put the call on speaker? No, no, ma'am. Okay, if you have, then please turn it off because then there's a lot of disturbance. Actually, ma'am, I I have been working uh, from nine to five in institute. That's why some disturbance here. Okay, so are you working right now? Are you? Is it okay? Can you talk? Yes, ma'am. Yes. All right. So you have applied to go to Canada, right? Yes, ma'am. Uh, so you have applied under which category? In ma'am, business administration plus commerce stream. All right. So, uh, what exactly is the name of the course that you're going for? It's ma'am, business administration and commerce program. All right. And where is it? Uh, what institute are you going to? Okay. So, this college that you uh, did you select this college on your own? Yes, ma'am. I have been interested towards it. Like, I want to do my higher study in this subject in this college. That's so why I, I love to select this college. Okay. So then, how did you say, choose this particular college only? <clears throat> how did you get to know about this college? How did you narrow down and decide to go to this college? Actually, ma'am, I have passed my like uh, business management as well my senior secondary with commerce stream. That's why okay. uh, I love to do my higher study in abroad because uh, this college uh, provide uh, practical skills to students. Okay, so uh, uh, tell me something about your previous education. What is your <coughs> highest qualification? Actually, ma'am, uh, as I already told you, I have completed my uh, plus two with the commerce stream as well as business management course in business field. So uh, after plus two, you did another course. What was uh, where did you do this course from? I have a, uh, like done this course from my local institutes that provide online classes in the business field. Okay, what is the name of the institute? It's the Institute. All right. Yes. So, uh, where where is this institute uh, situated? It is, ma'am, uh, located in Barreto. Okay, that's okay. So, is it a recognized institute? Yes, ma'am. Uh, recognized by is it uh, affiliated to any university? It's not in university. It's uh, from like uh, uh, recognized by local authority, like one famous institute. Which one? Uh, it's recognized by what? Ma'am, uh, I think it's a skip from my mind, but it's uh, recognized by the famous, uh, like uh, that is located in a, uh, like a, okay. yes ma'am. All right. So, um, uh, in 12th, how, what percentage did you get? How many marks did you get? Ma'am, it's uh, like approximately 60% in commerce. All right. Like, and Are I you sure it's 60%? Ma'am, near about 559.8, near about 60%. All right. Yes. Um, what's your mother's name? Uh, well, ma'am, my mother is housewife. What is her name? Uh, her name is... And your father? Uh, he, he's a, like, ma'am, agriculture. Uh, he's working in the agriculture field. And his What is his name? His name is... Okay, so you said you're working right now. Where are you working? Ma'am, uh, I'm working in the school, like uh, for... Which school? In uh, like local schools, I'm giving uh, uh, like coaching to the like uh, children. Coaching for what? Coaching of like uh, students like uh, ma'am, uh, pre-nursery to fifth class. All right, so... Uh... This you working? You teaching children in a school? Yes, ma'am. Is this a recognized CBSE affiliated school? Ma'am, it is a recognized uh, like it is a boarding school. It is a boarding school which is located in a very. So which classes do you teach? As I told you, ma'am, that I am teaching from pre nursery to fifth class. So, what do you teach these students? Like English, ma'am, English subject as I. Okay. 
are there other teachers also in the school yes ma'am they are uh, working over there okay how many teachers are there uh, approximately ma'am uh, many teachers are there like uh, uh, about 20 plus like many students are available no that's why okay. um, students so have you mentioned this in your uh, uh, application form that you work in since so, when are you working no no ma'am like as i am a free as i am waiting for my visa so that's why i plan that i have to do uh, okay. this all right so since when have you been working how long ago did you start when did you start teaching uh, approximately 2 to 2 two, two months uh, like when i have uh, applying for my visa so you started teaching 2 months back is that what you're saying sorry ma'am 2 months ago you started teaching yes ma'am yes all right okay um Oh, so you say that you're going to study business management yes. to this school so why did you choose this particular school ma'am actually na i belong to a rural side area and there are uh, like uh, no development in my uh, society so i want to think that if i i will have a more skills of business then i can also after completing my study i can also utilize my skills in my area I you didn't understand my question. Are you reading this out from somewhere? No, no, ma'am. Are you reading out the answers? No, no, ma'am. Generally speaking. Okay. So why am I? What I'm asking you? Try to understand what I'm asking you. I'm saying that there are lot of schools teaching this. So why did you choose this school? This is cool. Okay. Actually, hmm. uh, I have uh, actually this is cool is well reputed in my like uh, uh, city. That's why uh, and uh, they are providing good salaries to uh, students and uh, many facilities. Good salaries. So good salaries plus many facilities to two teachers, ma'am. In terms of uh, like I can say uh, timing hours. For no, no. Uh, you're talking about the school you're teaching in in, in Punjab now. Yes ma'am no i'm talking about the school in canada why did you choose the school that you're going to okay uh, ma'am i want to select this school because i um, firstly my friend is also studying there uh, and okay. he also suggest to me that this is a good institute for me as well for okay. my further career okay so um, what is your friend studying in that school actually ma'am i uh, she has been studying uh, since uh, one year later okay yes uh, so uh, what is the proposed language of instruction for this program language and instruct could you simplify this please no no i'm asking what is the language of instruction for this program when you go to canada which language will the course be conducted in uh, which language does this course require you mean to say yes okay actually ma'am uh, i know only english language so i think uh, this uh, uh, this language is a uh, suitable like for this uh, course and uh, no but i am what i'm asking is ki when you go what language will they teach in this course is it in english yes ma'am okay are you sure yes ma'am i am sure and uh, uh, like uh, there is also some uh, compulsory classes of uh, french classes that i have listened like uh, i should, uh, apart from my course there should uh, like i should also join the french classes over there according you will to the be planning okay according All to right. the rule ma'am all right um so and when you are studying over there are you planning to work along with uh, your studying uh, student period ma'am first of all uh, i will pay more concentration towards my study but uh, uh, if uh, i have to do my part time job that uh, government allot to us then i will do for completing my okay. expenditure and do you uh, do you uh, what type of employment will you look for if allowed while you are studying ma'am uh, as i have uh, like uh, experienced from my uh, friends uh, they to always uh, told me during call uh, like calling as video calls uh, that uh, various types of job part time jobs are available over there in terms of uh, like uh, students can do in the restaurant 
so i will okay. also do in the restaurant or either i can get anywhere okay and after you finish this course what kind of uh, job are you looking at what kind of employment are you hoping to get that's interesting ma'am uh, like after completing my study uh, i plan that i will come at uh, my uh, like uh, india after completing my study i return to india uh, okay. so i will do my own business in india okay yes. all right and um uh, you uh, which city or and which province will you be staying in canada uh, i will uh, you mean to say like which uh, province uh, i have choose yes yeah ma'am i have choose where, where are you going in canada like i'm asking you where are you going in canada yes ma'am uh, i am going in quebec okay where in quebec in montreal ma'am in college Okay so uh, is there any reason why did you choose particularly Quebec and Montreal as your destination ma'am as uh, actually as uh, i already mentioned that uh, since my childhood it is my dream that uh, i want to do my hair study in abroad okay so that's why i am uh, but why particularly uh, this this city Uh, this city actually uh, i have choose this city i'm planning to go there because uh, this uh, uh, my favorite college like a can college uh, provide so many facilities uh, to us uh, in terms of a uh, practical uh, programs uh, like that i have chosen that's why i choose this city okay and do you have any family or friends living in canada not a family member ma'am but yes my family uh, like my friend is living there so many friends are living there where are they which city are they there are so many cities like uh, in brampton as well in winnipeg in montreal also ma'am okay yes um uh, how much is the fees for the program is ma'am uh, it like two years course fees it Okay, and how much have you paid? Is the uh, all right? So who, how are you uh, paying for this fees? How mm-hmm. are you? Uh, what sources do you have to pay for the fees? Actually, uh, as I, my father is working in the agriculture field, and uh, it was uh, paid by my father from his account. Okay, has he taken any loan? No, ma'am. Okay. Uh, so, did anyone help you in the completing this application? Uh, like uh, regarding, uh, you mean to say payment or uh, like a visa? Regarding everything, everything. Every in any way. No. You tell me. Has anyone helped you in any way? No, no, ma'am. Okay. Did you approach any consultant or did any consultant help you? Yes, ma'am. Uh, like my uh, uh, visa filing is uh, consulted by. Okay what is the name of the company that she works for um, is Canon Okay so uh, what what how did they help you what services did they provide I uh, like ma'am uh, the status of No no I'm asking uh, you said Ruchi ma'am helped you so how did she help you what all services did she provide like uh, uh, like initially i didn't know how to profile how to apply the canada but after when i visited there he like to uh, told me that uh, first of all i asked asked to her like can i want to apply in montreal in after she mm-hmm. like uh, gave me the instructions about the canada how to apply and uh, also did she help you find the school also in montreal Uh, like which school to apply to did she help you in that also yes ma'am okay and uh, did she help you in getting the gic uh, in G- no ma'am it was paid uh, by uh, my mother account okay and did they help you in the accommodation in montreal or how way you will work in canada did they help you in that no ma'am she is only helping uh, she was only helping in uh, like filing Okay. Yes. All right. So, what was your percentage? You told me it was around sixty percent. Mm-hmm. Okay. And um, um, yes, ma'am. 
uh, when did you take your IEL exam? IEL? Yes, ma'am. Uh, I have passed my IEL exam uh, two years back, uh, like one point eight. Two thousand nineteen, you mean? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Uh, what was your score? Yes, ma'am. Six each. Overall six. six. Each. Okay. Not All only right. six, ma'am. Okay. Do you have any sibling? Yes, ma'am. Do you have any brother or sister? Yes, ma'am. My sister. How many? Sorry. Ma'am, my younger sister. Her name. Okay. What does she do? Ma'am, uh, she is uh, doing uh, graduation in uh, um, my city. Where? Which college? In uh, like local college in like uh, she is uh, doing study online. Online. Okay. All right. And uh, when did you get your LOA? LOA means. Could you think? Did you me? get it yourself, or did somebody else apply for you? Uh, like, ma'am, could you simplify, please? Because I didn't. Uh, when, when, like, was did you write to the college, or uh, did Kanem or somebody else write to the college and submit your application to the college? uh you mean to say like uh, whenever i visit uh, there like who uh, drew... no 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 when i'm saying you have applied to go to right that mm-hmm. is the name of the college you're going to yes ma'am uh, that's the name na no? that's what you said what where are you going ma'am uh, which yes. college are you going to college okay so that uh, did you apply to the college or did somebody else send the emails on your behalf you must have sent something by email or applied on their application i don't know how the process is so did you apply or did somebody else help you in applying for to the college no ma'am i it it is it is my first time that uh, i am planning to go in that's not what i'm asking i'm asking who applied to the college who applied like my friend or either So, who gave your documents, your mark sheets, and all? Who sent all those to the college? Okay, uh, yes, I got it, ma'am. Sorry. Uh, like it uh, um... sent it, uh, sent it to the college also. Yes. I'm not talking about visa. I'm talking about college. Okay. So she helped you in applying to the college also. Yes, ma'am. All right. So did whatever uh, um, uh, documents came from the college? Did they come to you or did they come? To... Ma'am, I also receiving uh, in my email ID. Okay. So, so and uh, Ruthi, ma'am, also receiving. Uh, she is also having my own ID password that she is also receiving. Any like as I told you, no, that I'm so you uh, your email ID the password you have also also has the password. Yes, ma'am. Of your email ID. Yes, uh, uh, it's a, it's a uh, email ID, ma'am, portal ID. That is. Uh, no, no, I'm not asking that. I'm saying that when uh, you applied to the college in Canada, who applied for you? Who applied for you? Yes, ma'am. All right. So, uh, do you know when you got the admission from from the college? Which month? Uh, actually, ma'am, uh, I um. I I have my biometric is on a twenty second, uh, and but my no no no, and that's not what I'm asking. I'm saying from the college. When did you get admission Canada? When did you get the admission to the college in Canada? Uh, in uh, I have been applied for March intake, ma'am, and the Canada permission uh, like college give uh, will give me permission in March intake, ma'am. That uh, I can intake. That is okay, but when did you get the admission? Ma'am, in March, as I received the mail of in March, which March? Like, ma'am, as I received the mail of my classes, uh, like uh, uh, last night, and uh, so I uh, never. I so you have started the classes already? Not, no, ma'am. I'm not started. I'm going to. When will your classes start? In Ma- ma'am, in March. I uh, I want to ch- now. I will check on my email. Then is no all right. What I'm asking is that when did you get admission in the college in Canada? When did you get admission in Canada? Yes, ma'am. Uh, I get admission in Canada in a uh, March. Ma'am. Which March? 
in March 2021. All right. <clears throat> okay. If there's any other question, then I'll uh, get back to you. But for now, there's no other information that we need. Uh, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Nice to talk to you, ma'am.